What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, it's time to learn how to have the banks beg for your services. But the only way to happen for that to happen is you got to have a 700 plus credit score. And we're going to show you how to have the banks begging you so you can get that credit card, you can get that loan, you can get that business credit, whatever you're trying to get. We try to give it or we try to assist you so you can have it. So come learn the steps, but also, but most importantly, you can call in. We'll have the number up when it's time, but we want to teach you some things really quick. So for all my new people, what's up? How y'all doing? For all the people that's watching the replay, what's happening? All right, Mike. Oh, man, look. Hey, we love the love. We love the support. Don't forget Don't forget to hit that like button because you know, the, the, more, the more you guys like it, the more it, show, uh, it shares out to everybody. Now, we didn't realize... Uh, how many lives we changed, Dave, until we actually went live on Instagram with one of our friends. Um, what we realized was a lot of people are using our methods to start their own credit repair company. And um, one thing that was was uh, crazy is we actually bought one of the guys up and we were talking to him. And, you know, we were sending him people like, hey, man, go ahead, do your thing. If y'all want to, you know, start your own or you wanna, want somebody to do it for you, you can go to somebody like him. And uh, Pops was, like, very taken aback by that, man. He was like, I wish I could give away clients like that. But most importantly, I think um, the information is for everybody. So if you're joining, um, do your due diligence. Watch all the videos, man. Go back into the archives. Way back when, when they, yep. had, when they had the cup, you know what I'm saying, telling y'all to, to drink up. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. Y'all was on, man, he said he made about 20000 off of just watching the videos and um just doing the methods and help as well so if you've been watching the videos for a while and you feel like you understand the process and you've been getting the results go start helping your family members start getting some more results start posting on social media i guarantee people gonna start hitting you in the dm for um some support or some consultation or what they, some type of advice so they can um move their credit score so how to get a 700 plus credit score, all right? How can the banks be begging you? Most importantly, we got to cut them off first, all right? We can't be looking thirsty. So what we need to do is, I say, opt out of the pre like the data that's going to be coming into the mail. Because what we ha what happens is when you get those um, pre approval letters from like Mission Lane and all those bootlegged places, <clears throat> we start to apply for them. So what you want to do is. Cut that off and then go to a credit union. I always say go to a credit union first, um, build a relationship with them first. And then once you build a relationship, walk in there, talk to people, talk about the, um, ask about the auto loans, ask about the credit builder programs, ask about if they have any home buy, like home programs, anything, just start asking, just writing it down. You taking notes because when it's time for you to apply, you already know who they pool, what credit score you need. Hey, the associate gonna tell you everything, all right? Because every we're humans, right? So we talk, we like to have a conversation, we like to communicate. And if you're just being genuine and you're just trying to learn, guess what? They're gonna basically um reach out or they're gonna tell you everything. So to get a 700 plus credit score, to have the banks begging you for your services, first and foremost, of course, we gotta check our credit report. I talk about this all the time. See what's holding us back. Once you see what's holding you back. Uh, most importantly, you got to send off your first letter. Sending off your first letter is key. Um, I want y'all to go the distance against the credit bureaus, but most importantly, make sure y'all drop y'all questions so we can get to them. But once you have your credit, I mean, once you send off your first letter, it's really simple. Like the credit bureaus is going to respond three different ways. Either they're going to say your account's deleted, right? The credit bill is going to respond back to you or they're going to say everything's verified. And based off of that is when you send your next round in. I'm oh. saying it again. If you send off your first letter, three things is going to happen or four things might happen, right? It might say you sound like a credit repair company. And if they do say that, you can send, um, you can get your letter notarized. You can call in. You can make sure it's actually you. The account's going to get deleted from either one of the two credit bureaus. I might get deleted from all three. 
or the credit bureau is not going to respond to you, which is a violation. But typically, they typically respond back to you about 30, 35 days. And then, or everything came back verified. And based off of that is based off of what you do next and how you respond back to the credit bureaus. And then from there is when you start to see some results. But most importantly, in between that time, those 30, 35 days, you need to be building credit. You need to be doing certain things so the banks can be begging you. Yeah, man. Uh, I thought I, I thought it was uh, well known. And I think yeah. it, it, was, it was a shock to us because the people, the type of circles we run into, run with, a lot of people are hyper-focused on their credit. And then, you know, just talking to people, man, it's like those little teeny details is like the difference between a deletion or somebody giving up. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. oh, all 50 people. Thank y'all, man. Hey, uh, drop y'all where y'all from in the chat. Um, yeah, I started, where y'all coming from? I started a couple of y'all. Hit the like button, share this out to um feel your friends um so we can get some sauce. But most importantly, we're going to teach you how to get a 700 plus credit score. But most importantly, we're going to teach you how to maneuver in the banks so you can get access to funding. But I don't want y'all to like apply for something if you really don't need it. What tends to happen is when you get these credit cards, guess what? You're like, oh, I got free money. And... I know some of y'all are starting to understand that this ain't your money. You got to have a plan to use this money. And if you're trying to leverage these credit cards for education and you're trying to start like your entrepreneurship, you're trying to start a lot of things. What you want to do first is sign, I mean, create an LLC and get some business credit. Cause now if you're trying to buy some education and you're trying to buy a course, you're trying to buy certain things. Now you ain't messing up your credit score because Either you didn't like the the business, the model, and you didn't really like you didn't enjoy it. So what we want to do is teach you how to build up your seven hundred plus credit score, so you won't mess it up again. All right, hey Dave, you, you mind if I do a couple shout outs to everybody who uh, commenting? Yeah, go ahead. All right, bet, bet, bet. Shout out to Alberto, uh, Arizona in the house. Shout out Ooh. to you, uh, Colette. Uh, she is New Jersey. Colette, you in New Jersey? I thought, man, Colette said she was moving to South Carolina. Um, with the prices of New Jersey, she might be telling the truth. I don't know. We'll we'll see about <laughs> that. Um, hold on, who is this? Hold on. Thank, thanks for all the gems y'all give. Hey, what is this? Cupcake Mamas. Hey, y'all, y'all go search that on Instagram and uh, YouTube. Let's see what Cupcake Mamas doing. And I hope we blow up your uh your YouTube uh not YouTube your yes, Instagram girl, follow. I need a cupcake. Uh, actually, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you want to be a sponsor of the Credit Team channel, you send me a cupcake. You know what I'm saying? Put the Credit Team logo on there. That'd be fire. All right. So we got um we got Rosemary from uh yeah, Rose. from the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Jenny from the block. Uh, I don't, is that is that a bad thing to say nowadays? I don't know. All right, we got some uh Texas in the house. Oh, Miss D from Texas. We got uh Okay, cupcakes from Philly. All right, mm -hmm. I want I want a meat meal cupcake. You know what I'm saying? Or, or or Eagles. All right, we got Marie Maurice from Sacramento, California. Hey, from Philly. What's up, Robin? Hey, Robin, we was on the phone, ain't it? Yeah, we talked. Then we talked to Robin. Hey, from South Cat, my boy Luther in the building. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to the to the hometown. All right, we got a dirty jersey in the house. We got a lot of people. Yeah, Jersey, Philly, Baton Rouge. Rouge. Hey, Philly. that's what's up. How you doing, Matrice? I think I'm saying it right. Oh, Another New York Bronx. Bronx. Hey man, I gotta, I gotta, uh, I gotta leave it right there, man. I gotta. Hey, I, know, oh, yeah. I know it's cold stuff. up there. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. Oh, shout out, to Shout out to Lewis. Uh, the, oh. That book, the truth. Hey, I promise you, man. We put our whole like, like really, we put our real true stories in these books. How we started our credit repair company, along with sauce and videos of stuff we don't even really talk about too much on yeah, YouTube. Man. And I broke it down to like, yo, you can make a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, yeah. all you need is eighty four o'clock paying you a hundred dollars a month as a hundred racks. Oh yeah, the reason why we started. I, uh, I, I think that should be next week's topic, showing y'all how to start a credit repair. If that's what y'all want, just let us know in the chat. Okay, dang, we got some more people. Right. Uh -oh. Come on. Uh, let's talk about it. What is that, a podcast? Let's talk about it? Or is that like, I don't know. I got to see. Michigan, the house. Let's go. In Michigan, we got 
ATL in the house. All right. Hold on. I moved to South. Okay. Okay. You moved. All right. Bet, bet. All right. We got Kurt. Oh, my bad. Chris from Atlanta. And we got, oh, Lewis from the Bronx. Um, Ooh, Colette. I keep, I keep, <laughs> I keep clicking her name. Eagle fans. All right. Yeah, man. Cowboy fans. We got oh, all yeah. type of people in here. Hey, and, 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 and Robin, let us know how the interaction went with Dave, man. We, we love to, to talk about how we really talk to people, that especially people who um, enjoy the channel and want to want to connect. Because um, oftentimes when people uh, reach high statuses, they don't really talk to people. But I don't want to make this too boring. All right, Dave, that's it. Uh, <laughs> All right. So yeah. um, there are banks that pull from TransUnion. There are banks that pull from Experian. And there are banks that pull strictly from Equifax. And once you understand that there are certain banks that pull from certain credit bills, now you can actually maneuver into the banks and get the funding that you're trying to get. So, but most importantly, you want to be set up properly. You want to have everything structured so you can get the things that you need. That's why I say it's very key to go inside the banks and learn the stuff that they have, because if you don't know what they have, then you ain't going to be able to apply. And if you do want to apply, I always tell people to go inside a bank to apply for certain things. So how to have the banks begging you? Guess what? You got to have your credit score to where it needs to be. And to remove certain things, you want to use certain laws, right? Everything that you need is in the um, is in the FCRA. And if you have collections on your credit report, you can use the FDCPA. Especially, I'm not saying, guess what? Yes, you owe the money. Yes, you um, have it on your credit report. But guess what? If they are violating your rights, hey, now it's free game. All right? So if they call you when they're supposed to call you, if they um, are not doing, if they're reporting accurate information on your credit report, they're supposed to be doing their job. And we're doing our job, all right? We're letting them know, and they're not fixing it. So that's why you can get things removed from your credit report. Let's just say you owe, like you have an auto loan. It could be removed off your credit report without the car being repossessed because it's reported inaccurately. Trust me, they're not going to come take your car if you're paying monthly every time. I mean, every month, all right? Same thing for a house. Same thing for a credit card. Anything on your credit report can come off. Now, yes, it's going to take time. I'm not saying it's going to happen, happen overnight. But let's get these calls in, and then we can still continue talking about. Uh, oh, okay, let me bring the uh, the number on the screen. Right, I'm trying something new with the the software, so bear with us. And if you sound like a robot, uh, we might have to do something else. But yeah, um, this is your time to call in, man. Um, we really want to uh, connect with the people, um, and I mean that's that's pretty much it. Um, I think everybody is on the same wavelength, on the same journey, but we can't talk to our friends or family because they're not on the same journey with us. So what me and Dave love to do is we love to talk to people who are trying and just can't get over the hump, whether that is misinformation or, you know, you went YouTube, mm -hmm. when YouTube show y'all these videos, man, they don't be in order at all. <laughs> That's one thing we notice. Uh-oh. Okay, Dave, I thought you was ready for me. But yeah, oh, okay. YouTube don't show us these show y'all these videos in order at all. So when we normally get on a call or we um, talk to somebody, they'll say something along the lines of, hey, um, I'm at this step. And it will be like, why you ain't do the first part? Well, most of most of you guys are joining us at the 50K subscribers and that journey from zero to 50K. That was a long, long journey. And a lot of the people from the 50K subscribers got their results and the people that are, you know, 100K, at, joining out the 100K, y'all just picking up um, when we were just talking exclusively exclusively about Dispute Panda or something like that. So, all right, Dave, I'm about to bring a question on the screen, if you don't okay. mind. <clears throat> Anytime you are added as an authorized user on our account belonging to somebody else, your score will be directly yeah. impacted for better or worse. I don't think that's a question. I think that's a statement, but that's exactly true. So anytime you add it as an authorized user, man, y'all better <laughs> make sure y'all talking to these people every day because sometimes, you know, they might have to use that card for some drastic decision making, you know, so you don't want your credit score affected by somebody with an authorized user, whether they tried to help you uh, with good intentions or not. So you don't want your credit in somebody else's hand. 
for the most part. All right, Dave, I'm going to hide that question. All right, let me see if I got some more. Please talk about repossessions too. Okay, okay. Yeah, we could do that. Um, specifically, uh, what what question do you have? It's a lot that goes into repossessions um, that a lot of people don't talk about. Um, number one, importantly, when somebody gets your car, whether it's voluntary or involuntary. Matter of fact, let me start with the beginning. Um, we talked to another credit repair specialist, and what he was doing was he was informing his clients that whether you give the car back, don't give the car back. It's still a repo. And I just assume that people knew that, but a lot of people don't. Um, and look up your state laws too. Look up the Lemon Law Act and then see what, what y'all can do for some people who buy cars and the engine just conk out or something crazy happen. Hey, Dave, just interrupt me when you're ready. But uh, yeah, look up your state laws and stuff. We're uh, good. How can I help you? How can we assist you? It's not coming in the, the feed, so I probably did something wrong when I. Oh, okay. Okay, the first question I wanted to um, ask you was, my transunion, it says, can't be calculated. How can I get my score to show? What you so your trans trans yeah, transunion credit score is not populated. Correct. On what app? I'm using my free credit score now. My free credit score now. Is it populated on Credit Karma and like different other apps, or is it just like that? On, on, on Credit Karma, no, not on, not on Credit Karma either. So, are you just starting building credit? Yeah, I'm. I'm I've been with Kickoff for like six months. We've been on, we've been with Kickoff. I don't know if they report to um, TransUnion. So, what you want to do is get some accounts that report to all three. So, go to a local credit union and and um, apply for a credit builder loan. And then once you start getting some accounts on your credit report, then your, cre your credit score will uh, populate. Okay, I think so kickoff only reports to Equifax. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's not showing up. Yes, sir. But you can double check. It, or you can give them a call as well to see if it's reporting all three. But I believe it only reports to one of the credit bureaus. But you can also get some other ones. There's like Ava. There's other places you can... um apply with like cheese and that will report to all three self um like there's multiple places that you can check out tomo credit card there's uh rent reap no boom pay so those are you know other ones but i always tell people to go to like a local credit union okay mm -hmm. all right yeah i definitely gotta do that now yes sir with, with me, with my trans junior score not being calculated. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get that then. Like you, you're basically okay. at a 300 credit score. Okay. You got that, nothing. That, that was my next question. Yes, yeah. sir. So you're in a good state. All right. So all you got to do is just go get some uh, lines of credit on your credit report. And then now once your credit score populate, make sure you take care of it. Um, if you're an entrepreneur, I would tell you go get business credit. I mean, go create a business account and then get a business credit card. And if you're trying to learn while you're earning, do it that route. All right. Okay. I only got one collection. My experience is 675 and my equal factor is 702. And I only have one collection on my credit report. You have a collection on your credit report, all right? So if you have a collection on your credit report, uh, typically what I tell people is if a collection agency sent you a letter, I would tell them um, you can, based off of the law, which is 15 U.S.C., um, 1692C, and what happens is the credit bureaus, oh, not the credit bureaus, the debt collectors, you could tell them refuse to pay this debt, and if they respond back to you, that's a violation. Okay. And you can um if that happens, you know, just call back in or text the team and we'll be able to assist you. And that's how you okay. can remember that collection. Okay, now I gotta get this trans union. I gotta get something a credit builder or something to hit this trans union that just Yeah, or I mean if the other two are good, if you got other stuff that's reporting on the other two, you can go to a bank that only pulled from Experian. You can go to a bank that only pulled from Equifax. Where are you located? I'm in Tampa, Florida. You in Tampa, Florida? I, I'm in Delaware. 
You got your business in Delaware. Okay. You can go to Chase. They pull from, I mean, they pull from Experian, Wells Fargo. Uh, Where's collection report to? Where is that collection reporting at? Is it reported on all the Experian or Equifax? It's, it's reporting on both. Okay. Well, yeah, you need to remove that first and then apply. Okay. Now, this is my last question. Um, Okay, I, I got the collection. Okay, so I got um on my re on my credit report, I got an auto loan that's is saying that it's paid off. Is that good or should I remove that? No, it's good if it have any. If it's good if you don't have no late payments on it. Yeah, I don't think it's showing no late payments. Yeah, so just double so check. Got, uh, if you, have you ever been late? It was <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's why I was like, it ain't showing no lates. Yeah, so you usually have to double check and look. Um, and also you can order your your credit report from annual um annual credit. Report. I think they show like multiple, or you can just call in to ask uh, call in to TransUnion Experian Equifax to order your report to see the history of that account because I know some uh the credit monitors don't show, but like two years. So what you want to do is order call the credit bureaus and order a report so you can see the the length of the history of that account. You feel me? Yeah. All right. You're going to be good. And once you see that, now you should be good. And just continue building up your credit. You'll be fine. Okay. My All right. Last thing, my, my last thing. Hold on, bro. I got six inquiry. In yeah. What? what, what so with the inquiries, what you want to do, because I know it's probably going to help other people as well. For hard inquiries, once you get that report, uh, when you call in, what you're going to see is go to the hard inquiry section. Once you go to that section, what you're going to see is um, the inquiry is going to say, some going to say permissible, some not going to say permissible purpose. If it don't have permissible purpose under the hard inquiry, go to the law, which is 15 U.S.C. 1681 um, B, permissible purpose section. And you can use that law to get those hard inquiries off your credit report. Okay. Yes, sir. Hey, Everything's based on the law, and you good after yeah. that. Did you tell me you were gonna have to call in? I didn't. I don't remember you saying. Yeah. That. So just call in to Experian, call in to TransUnion, call in to Equifax to order your credit report. And once you have your credit report, you can see the information, and also make sure you have credit monitor, which I did the IQ, um, to dispute if you have some that collection. But just order your report so you can see what's going on. Okay, now for now, is that a legitimate thing to like use? Because I see a lot of people use it, but then a lot of people don't. Use yeah, so it's it. You know, it depends what you have. If you have my free score, that you know, we use Identity IQ because it shows like a clear. Um, like if you're trying to dispute, it shows you a lot of information. So I don't know how that report looks, so I can't say. And plus, you know, I'm a brand ambassador, so I got to okay, rep. I <laughs> so I don't know. We wow. got to rep our brands. <laughs> got to rep our brand. I feel you, boss. All yeah, right. I appreciate you. No man. problem, man. Appreciate you for calling this. Yes, sir. Go Bucks. <laughs> oh, man. That was yeah, fun. They, they down bad this year. All right. Let me, uh, let me add. add call back at 845, whoever's calling from 845. All right. So, how can I remove closed accounts due to late payment? Due to late payments that come back verified. Um, Rose, Rosemary, I think you got everything you need. You just got to keep disputing. Um, just find spot the inaccuracies in your credit report, and then that's pretty much uh, the information you need. You tell tell the credit bureaus in writing that you uh, you're challenged in the account. However, you want to say it. Hey, man, I just I'm just checking to see if this everything is 100 percent accurate, like you say. And then send that letter in. You know everything at 100% accurate. And then once it's not 100%, well, once they send it back, says verify and everything, you got them right where you want them. Um, then you send a method of verification. You can ask for a description of uh, the information that was disputed. Like, yo, how did y'all verify this information? And then uh, send me a description of what method y'all used to verify. And then uh, they pretty much got to tell you what they did. Um, from my expertise... They'll, they'll list like four different things that they might have done, right? Just to catch all. 
And then you got to just dig in and keep asking, but ask more detail because they sent the letter in. So now when you're using what CFPB, uh, you got details of what they're saying. And then you just keep asking the question. They, they got to they gotta respond to you. So you'll use CFPB in that uh, instance. All right. All right. We got Lewis from the Bronx. Lewis. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Um, all right. As I'm listening to you guys, I'm going through my um, dispute panda. Mm -hmm. Now, I had a question, right? I got three. I got six accounts. Check this out as I'm looking at it right now. Three of them are from Midland, right? But the original creditor is Capital One. Yeah. Right? Now I got three more from Midland without the originator of creditors. On the same on another account, that's three more with just Midland without Capital One being the original creditor. Can I add, can I? Uh, what do I do? Is it a double account or? So you have I'm three on Midland, Midland from. Hey Dave, let me let me answer. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, uh, Capital yeah, he One is the original okay, creditor. No, no. But then it's the same account, but without Capital One listed as the original creditors. How does he so know? Is it account? any showing on uh, Equifax? Because I think on Equifax, it don't show like the original creditor, creditor, but like the other two credit reports, it shows like who it's from. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's why sometimes it happens like that. Oh, man. He, he's a perfect candidate for our yeah. litigation program. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Mike, say you're a perfect candidate candidate for our lit litigation program. I'm say it all wrong. Lit uh, litigation escort program. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's that? Oh, we uh set the debt collector up to sue him with the lawyer. Same, same thing we do with uh That's the same thing we do with credit bills, but we set them we set the debt collector up and then, you know oh, we sue them. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna sue them and then you ain't gonna owe the money no more and you're gonna get paid. That's, that's potentially potentially yeah, potentially. All right, now I got one more thing. Well, I What's got up? two more things, but the first thing I want the first thing I want to say was you guys be saying the same thing a lot. So mm -hmm. I was just wanted to say that the people that are listening need to cop the book so they could just follow along. It's a lot easier. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that like a personal experience. He got the book? You know what I'm saying? Because some of the stuff you're saying, I go back to the book. It's a perfect guide for people who are just jumping in who don't know about the book. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. As I'm saying it, I'm reading it. It's like, yo, if they would just look at the damn book and step by step, it's actually saying it. Yes, sir. Every time I'm looking at their stuff, you guys start off saying the same exact thing. So they they would just jump on page one and just start from there. They'll be all right. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. my, my other thing I wanted to say was, I got a um, my landlord right. They they're on my credit report. Uh huh. I got two. They listed on the same one. I got one that says my rent is everything is on time, and then the other one, same account. And it's saying from 10 years, I'm sorry, uh, 2011. Uh -huh. That is late over 120 days. It's the same account. And I went to the landlord. They told me that it's on time. But they can't give me a letter stating that it's up to date because I wanted to use it against them because it's on my credit report. So can you go back to the landlord and ask them why they're reporting late or give you an updated letter? Or if, all right, if they can't updated with the credit bureaus can they provide you some documentation say that you was on time so you can provide it to the credit bureaus that's what you need to do okay um so you can get the documentation and then send it to the credit bureaus and they, they should be able to update it okay. so make sure they have the letterhead and everything and you'd be good to go and this goes for everybody as well um a lot of things i, I think i was on the call with somebody a couple days ago and they had bridge press and guess what? The, she had an accident and the accident, um, they reported it late, but the insurance already paid off the car and it was reported late and it hurt a credit score. So she got the letter from Bridgecrest, sent it in, and it's going to update the payments. So, there yes, yes, sir. Right, so just so get that. Appreciate you, Lewis. Okay, we got more questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, tell, tell Lewis to send us his results when he get it. Back to what I was doing with this reporting, which was updating my information i'm trying to figure out when i do it is there a certain lingo that i use regarding updating it or because i haven't started that yet i want to make sure i get everything straight first so updating your information there's not a certain lingo uh you could call to update it first try to call and update it and then if it don't work send the letter in if that don't work then file a complaint so you got three scenarios to update your information okay perfect i want to start with that first thing yes sir. 
Yes, sir. Uh, perfect. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Yo, everybody got to count the book, yo. I right. get these questions over, over again. <laughs> hey, tell, tell Lewis they don't know yet. They just ain't hey, got hey, the book. Hey, hey, some of these people knew Lewis. That's all. They come new to the channel, so you know we have new people come like every. Oof. Just, just tell the cop the book. Yes, sir. Uh, I hope y'all get an audio. Yo, for the future, to try to get like an audio book, it'd be a lot easier too. So I'm trying. All right. To oh yeah, yeah. Me and Mike working on that the audio part. Cause I want to do it a little bit different versus like yo, I'm reading from the book. I kind of want to audio, but also teach a little bit. So we got it. Right. We got it in the works. All right, but thanks a lot, man. I'm gonna continue watching. All right. Peace. That boy Lewis don't play. Oh, so for that- all the new people, you can get two books. All right, you got the, you know, the credit repair cheat codes, but we also have the. I think you got it, Mike, the FCRA book. So oh, those man. two books and the FDCPA is very powerful. Yeah, I got my uh, book note in here. You know what I'm saying? Read through it still because uh, I might yeah. learn something new. I don't know. Maybe not. There's always something that we, um, you know, miss that could work. Hey, that's Even if I'm you on. have, um, so for a repossession, it's like it's the same as well. For a repossession to come off your credit report. All you have to do is just really set the credit barrels up. But I, I promise you, man, like, like no lie, um, you're going to see everybody say s- similar stuff like that. This book is my guide because we literally go through everything from start to finish. I think you can go all the way like to round 10 using this book, to be honest yeah. with you. But most importantly, I don't want you to quit um, when it comes to like, oh, man, I got off insurance. So if you do get off one credit barrel, now what you want to do is leverage uh, 15 USC 1681 um, S-2 and you can leverage that to also get the account removed from the other two credit bureaus. So, and that's pretty much it. So you just really after you send one letter in you respond, you wait, and then you do your next letter based off of the law and then you continue doing that. And all you're doing just waiting for the response back. But while you're waiting, you want to be building your credit. You want to be going to the banks. You want to be doing certain things so once your credit score skyrocket, you good. Yeah, I, I, I got to grab. The, I got to. I got to grab the link for the book. Oh, and I wanted to show a page out of the book as well. So the only way for the banks to be begging you, so we don't look thirsty, is for your credit score to look good. And the only way for your credit score to look good is doing the things that are required to build up your credit score. You got to become a different person. But I will also challenge you to go um, go schedule an appointment with Charles Schwab, Fidelity, all these different places because these are financial advisors that's going to actually teach you. I have that in a book on how to build a $1 million account. All right? Because a lot of people don't talk about when you turn 65. And I'm here to tell you, God's willing, you're going to be that age. And what's, what I don't want to happen is you don't have no money. Um, for you to be work, you know, I don't want you to be working when you don't need to be working. You enjoy life, and me and Mike be having this conversation about investing. Like everybody's not meant to be an entrepreneur, but everybody can invest five to five to twenty dollars per month, and then eventually see that money grow. And like, dang, I need to put some more money into my account and watch it grow again. So go talk to. I challenge y'all go book an appointment with Charles Schwab. Let them break it down to you. It's free to open up account with them. Um, I think they do have some other services where you can pay. But other than that, it's free to open up account and go invest money. All right. Hey man, let me let me show y'all because I I think um, what's the guy name? His name is Lewis, right? Yeah. I think he's talking about this part right here. Um, this is like a, a one, two, all the way to seven step part of the book yeah. mm-hmm. that I think he's following because he's like, hey man, y'all saying the same thing over and over. And I'm like. Yes, yeah, yeah, kind of. It's, it's kind of <laughs> well, like when you at school, you say, you know, they saying the same thing. Like, you know, like we follow the process. Ain't, ain't no deviation. We just do everything based off of the law already. So the law is based off of the process. Yeah, and then what, from there, you just respond back to the credit bills. And then, if you want the banks to be begging you, you just go create a relationship, and they're gonna tell you everything. They said, uh, "Swab is TD now. Think of swim." Uh, Charles Schwab, I think TD, um, 
Air, whatever it's called, and then they got Fidelity. They got different places you can go to. But I think Charles Schwab is. They got Edward Jones. Yeah, I went to Edward Jones. Um, are out here. You just Google them, schedule an appointment, and let them. You know, say I'm trying to invest, man. Oh yeah, I said I went up in there. I'm like, hey, y'all got. Let me take some money out. They were like, we ain't got no money in here. I'm like, nah, what? You get, a, <laughs> you get a check. I think they could do that. Yeah. So. That. So yeah, this is what the books look book looks like. Uh, credit repair cheat codes. Um, saw a baby right here. Basically, the reason it's the same thing as the YouTube channel, all in book form, but y'all get our stories attached to it. Um, how we found this information is in here too, so y'all can get to know a little bit more about us as well. Especially mm -hmm. Dave, boy, Dave, like, bro, we, we put everything in here. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I don't want to get that comfortable with people, not just yet. All right, let me see <clears throat> some more questions, Dave. All right, I uh, answered that one. What What do you think about this, Dave? I'm about to trigger. Oh, you on the phone call? What's What's up? How you doing? Hey, how y'all doing? We doing well, good. Well, you sound live. You must ask. A That's few what I'm talk about. Yeah, man. Life is a gift. I'm always live. Hey, that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. How you doing today? How can yeah, we help you? How can we assist you? And where you calling in well, from? I'm calling, on, I'm calling in from South Carolina. I'm calling on behalf of one of my friends. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, she was like, hey, I got good credit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, he, we did your credit, your credit hack, and his credit report is showing zero. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> hey, hey Mike, say congratulations. You good? Congratulations. Now, now you need to build some credit. Are you to ask some accounts on your credit report? Yeah, it, it was weird because like it's showing zero on the credit profile, but when you look at his profile, it's showing that he's in the six hundred. Yeah, so some it depends on what um app you're looking at. So Credit Karma might, but if you look at your FICO score, you might have nothing because you know they don't report the same. So what you want to um does he have some accounts on his credit report already? He got accounts. Um, he hasn't did the credit building uh, accounts yet. He, so all his accounts are all, all the accounts are closed. No open accounts. I think he got some open accounts. But he do have some open accounts on there. Um, he got Navy Federal account on there, so that's open. That he pays on that's in good standing. So it's not like what score? Like hold on, what credit what bureau is that showing the score? Equifax. It, I think it's Equifax. Okay, is Equifax not reporting that? Uh. That Navy Federal account, because sometimes, yeah, because sometimes they don't report. Well, I ain't gonna say sometimes. Sometimes it happens where it don't report on all three, so you just want to double check to see if it's reporting. But if he has nothing on there, um, what you want to do, or if he has closed accounts on there, what you want to do is start um, putting some open accounts on his credit report. So okay. go to Navy Federal or go to another bank and. Um, Add it. Hey, Dave, okay. ask, 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 ask her. Car and when he went to the car system, his, his, his credit was zero. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah. So we don't want to go to the car lot. Go to a credit union. Go to Navy Federal. Credit, go to Navy Federal. He's already with them. Um, And go apply for a car loan there. They're going to give him a better deal. And he can negotiate. He denied. From Navy Federal? Yes. All right. Well, let's get on the phone. Um, let's do a um, consultation because I can't tell you without seeing, and I can't give you the best guidance. So if you hit, I think I got your number. Hit me up on Instagram, um, and we can do a free, free consultation where I look over your credit report or his or her credit. I mean, his credit report and see what's going on, so we can give you the best guidance so you can go get this car. And the only reason I'm calling in for him tonight because he's at work. So that's the only reason I'm calling for him. So. All right. I'll see you later. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate you calling in, you know. Man, hold on. Where where they start at? Hold on. Guys, so, thank you. So, so have you um now. what about yourself? You good? You got any questions? I'm still I'm still going down a uh, credit rabbit hole. I'm still sending in dispute letters. Um, okay. because I got I got my verification letters back from the uh credit bureaus. So now I'm just gotta put the put the play play in action. But I do have another question. Um, 
and we just can we just steal our old addresses online without it forfeit, forfeiting the right to like and a dispute letter? Yeah, you can dispute your addresses online. Um, just don't dispute, dispute no accounts. Some addresses they're gonna allow you to dispute. Some addresses they're not gonna allow you because if it's attached to an account, they got like, oh, you gotta call in or send a letter in. To hey, they, they just just remind her like we don't dispute nothing that's fraudulent. So yeah. Yeah. Like a dispute online because I know it forfeits your right to send in a letter. So. Yeah. No, 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 no. You good to dispute your address? All you got to do is just say I'm currently not living here no more. Um, and you can get it removed. And but some of the addresses you can't get removed because they're going to be attached to some accounts. So you have to probably you have to send a letter in for that to remove those old addresses. So you can call. So you can dispute online. You can call in. You can send a letter in. And if it don't come off, you can also file a complaint. So you have four ways to remove your address. Oh, that's fine. Good stuff. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Y'all have a great night. You too. That was it for me. Have a blessed one. All right. Oops. It, hey, it, it's Veterans Day? Uh, Friday. Friday. Oh, happy Veterans Day to you, Colette. Military in here. Yeah, so we, um, you know, we got out of the military last year um, to pursue this credit team full time to help people provide the service, give them the information, and most importantly, um, help y'all. You know hey, man, just, just so y'all know, Dave getting bored. The more bored, hey, Dave keep getting bored. He's like, hey, man, let's go. Let's start back taking clients. So, man, I'm like, I, I told him no. I'm like, bro, nah, I don't want to deal with nobody, bro. We Let's just teach on YouTube. But Dave was like, man, we, like, we got to start helping people, man. People need help. And the more and more we talk to y'all, man, we more and more I'm realizing like y'all like on y'all like on like number three and y'all are really close to get y'all delicious man just don't give up for real don't give up all right what else hold on Dave I want I want to trigger you real yeah quick. how you doing what's up hi how's how how's, how's everything going well pretty good not, not that good okay how can we help you how can we assist you and where you calling there from actually It's going good. It's going not that good. It's going. That's what you guys' life, and I you, thought I should call in. You say it's going good. It's going not that good. Hey, I don't like that. You gotta get his credit right. Huh? <laughs> Everything gonna be good with that credit right. Watching you guys, and you guys are keeping the cheat code, and not that good because I got some situations going on. So what's the situation? How come uh, me and Mike help you? Well, so I have. I just have some negative account in my profile, in my credit profile, and I was seeing how you guys can walk me through about this solid. it. So you have some negative accounts on your credit report and you're trying to figure out how to walk you through. Have you done anything so far yet? No. You I haven't want to start from the beginning. All right. So the first thing you want to do, you see that big logo that says identity IQ? Uh-huh. You want to grab that report first. You about to make Lewis upset. I can already see him here in my head. Uh, Get the book. <laughs> yeah. Now, so um, since you're here, you want to grab your credit report. Once you have your credit report, you're going to see some information, right? You're going to see all the accounts that me and Mike talk about. Um, that's like reported inaccurately. You're going to see like the accounts is going to be showing information that's not reporting correctly on your credit report. Um, yeah, like you go, okay and then now what you want to do is you no know, you can freeze the snitches you can do all that but most and clean up your personal information but most importantly you got to get that first letter out your investigation letter out with all the negative accounts and send them to all three credit reels certified okay and then once you have that letter out all right i mean once you get that letter out then you have to wait but most importantly in between i always say if you, if you don't have no positive accounts, if you don't have nothing, go to a local credit union, all right? And if you, like, got a bad relationship with a credit union that you have now, go to a new person, all right? Because guess what? If you're trying to apply for them, they're most likely going to deny you because you had a bad pre-existing relationship with them. Mm. So it's hard for somebody to trust you once you did bad. So go to another bank, open up another account, put $20 in there, uh -huh. let it sit, and figure out, what credit bureau they pull from, what type of have based off of your situation. And then from there, once mm -hmm. your accounts fall off, then 
you know, you can apply. But the credit bureaus is going to respond back to you, verify. They're going to say some stuff got deleted and some stuff, um, or they don't respond back to you at all. And then after that, you want to use, you want to have the Fair Credit Reporting Act and go to 15 U.S.C. 1681 I-7. And if they re say verify, you ask how they verified it. And then if they don't, then you want to use um, 15 U.S.C. the first law. If they don't respond back. And then from there uh -huh. is how you get stuff removed. And then you continue doing that over and just use different other laws to get things removed. And if you have inquiries, we use different laws to get that off. And it's pretty much the same steps. And then continue paying down your bills. Um, you know, if you have credit cards and debt, pay that down. Go to, I always say go to Charles Swap or go to Fidelity or go somebody, go somewhere so you can be, you know, saving for your future self. And that's pretty uh -huh. much it. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna become a different right. person by the time you do all that. You're like, man, I learned so much investing and all this type of stuff. So yeah. All right. All right. So you're welcome, sir. Don't sound so down. You, you might need to. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. Man. Hey, that boy got—he got, he, he got excited after I say he need a shot. <laughs> oh man, yeah, because I think yeah. um I think we should have asked him how many videos he watched because I think that is he very, must be new because he's just saying this. Yeah, it's very important. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? Yeah, I heard that. That's crazy. So we can hear that, but we can't hear uh people talking. Wow, these apps is crazy. Hopefully, they don't. <clears throat> I'm trying to look for the um I'm trying to look for that pinwheel that's in the book, Dave. The pinwheel? Wanna, What's that? The seven steps. Cause I would I would like for everybody to see the steps that we're talking about while we're talking about them. So I'm in your I'm in your Canva account. Oh, I don't think it's well, it might be up there. I don't know. Yeah. It's hard to go in one of those those slideshows. That's what that's what I'm looking through. But I don't think got any questions? I now, only watch three videos. He said you only watch three videos. Oh, okay. Uh, answer this question for uh, this person. What, what do you think about that? I went, I've been wanting you to see this. No debt is ever owed. Can you prove that in court? No. How do you feel about that? How do I, feel? Know, I have my, uh, you know, my stuff, my, uh, hey. my, 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 you know, I, I hear all, you know, so I hear consumer law, and I want to let you know that the FDCPA, the FCRA, is a consumer law, right? It's here for us. So, and I know there's other stuff out there when you have your other, you know, your rights and all that. But nobody has shown me, or I haven't seen somebody go to court, federal court, or some type of court, and say that, hey, I don't owe this money. Y'all owe me all this stuff that everybody's talking and preaching. And I haven't seen it on the news. I'm pretty sure they're going to show the news, but I haven't seen nobody post it. I asked, you know, even with like the, the car situation, I yet have seen no say that they didn't owe no car. Like they got the car outright. Like I went to Lamborghini and I told them, guess what? Y'all owe me this car. <laughs> Nah, I think um I guess I guess my thing about this is uh yeah I don't think like I'm not saying this wrong I'm not saying what they're saying you know it's you know the stuff is in there the down payments is all but I haven't seen nobody do it of that's all no nah, I, I I think people just misinterpret the law yeah I, if, if if no debt is ever owed did in in that case um the people who teaching it wouldn't even ask for money because they wouldn't need it Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like, if if I can get a house and I never have a late payment, I just go get one and never pay the bills. And, you know, I wouldn't, I'll just teach people for free because I know one thing that'll do is it'll, it'll liberate a lot of people if no debt is ever owed. Now, I think it's it's a, a, a big misinterpretation of the law because um, I think when people hit, see the word alleged, 
the reason why people say alleged because it has to be proved that you owe the debt. And um, the only way you can prove that you owe something is court of law or some type of contract or agreement. Oh, so yeah, I wanted to put that out there <laughs> just wow. just to see what you think about it. Cause I know, I know, I know how you feel, bro. You like, hey, bro, God don't God ain't gonna bless you, bro, if you don't pay back what you owe. Facts. I, I thought you was gonna say that. That's why I wanted to see what <laughs> see what you was gonna say. But I, I had uh I did that. Hold on, hold on. Yes, I purchased your book. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. Uh secondly, hey man, so much like you tested me. I'll be trying, man. I'm like, man, let me see if I can get Dave mad today. All right, Dave, you care to answer uh, this question right here? All right. Every time I send a method of a verification, they never respond. Or when I call and say the creditor can't send them the proof of verification. Every time I send a method of verification. So are you sending a method of verification to a debt collector or to the credit bureau? So the method of verification is supposed to be sent to the credit bureaus, and they're supposed to respond back to you in 15 days. They're not going to respond back to you in 15 days. They they have a hard time responding back in 30 days. So if they don't respond back in 15 days, that's a violation. And then since that happens, now you want to file a complaint. Now, for a creditor, you don't really want to ask for proof of verification. You just want to tell them, I refuse to pay this debt for a collection. All right? And that's pretty much it. That's your next steps. So if you talk it to the credit bureaus, ask them for the method of verification. They're supposed to respond back to you in 15 days. They don't file a complaint, write a complaint, show the proof. Hopefully you get some stuff off. For a collection agency, type in or reply back, I refuse to pay this debt. I refuse to pay this debt. And guess what? They're going to probably send you something that's going to be a violation. Oh, yeah. And that's if it, they don't, if, if, if they don't see you, if they don't see you that for a violation, then they ain't gonna respond at all. all they right, probably gonna uh, move it off your credit report. Um, Dave, what's up? I, I think you already answered this question. Talk about student loans and can it be removed? Yes, your yes, student loans could be removed, but most importantly, you still owe the money. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so you are gonna have to create some type of repayment plan with them. Um, whatever payment driven plan. Um. And you have to pay that back, but yes, it can come off. Yeah, now, so I would tell you not to remove it if it's helping your credit report. All right, um, just work out some type of plan to where it's you know some type of cheap plan or whatever, so you can be paying a, a lower payment um, if that's causing whatever is causing. But you still can get it removed off your credit report. But it's reporting on time. You have age. You got all the on time payments. Don't remove it. Yeah, how, how do you remove it though, Dave? How do you remove it? Using our seven step process by first getting your credit report and seeing how they are not reporting correctly on the actual account. And that's how you get it removed. Yeah. So Woo! just follow it line by line. Um, actually, uh, the first ever video you made was how to remove student loans. And I think that's the, I mean, everybody was getting their student loans removed off that video. Matter of fact, I think it was. I mean, hey, go look at the comments in that first video. It's like back in what, 2019, 2020? Yeah, 2020. 2020. Before COVID started. Yeah, so just about the inaccuracies and then, you know, you, you good. Uh, Matrice. All right. Did we uh, answer this? How to remove a late payment on zero balance from closed account credit, closed due to late payments. So the creditor closed. You just got to continue to speak with Rosemary. You ain't doing nothing wrong. You doing everything right. It just they ain't um, trying to. It is they, they ain't trying to give up. I mean, they ain't trying to give in. So it's, uh, like, I, it's a fight between you and the credit bureaus, and that's that's what's going on. I would so say this one thing nothing wrong, huh? And one thing, one thing. You can over dispute. Yeah. So you just, just, just so y'all know, if y'all don't wait those days that they give y'all, um, they will add the additional 15 days after every letter. So if somebody ain't responding back to you, just make sure you're not over disputing. Uh, they got 30 days to respond. Sometimes they say, hey, bro, we need 60. And if you ain't able to wait those days, um, you know, you might just be adding more time to your, your dispute. But um, yeah, Rosemary, it seemed like. See, like you ask the same questions all the time. I just hope you ain't sending a bunch of letters 
So if you send a letter to the credit bureaus and then you send a letter to the original creditor or debt collector, you just keep adding time to the clock every time you dispute them because they're still trying to handle your situation. So for the litigation service, um, you know, we don't really talk about too much services, but it's if you have collections on your credit report, um, what we do is set the we set the debt collectors up. That's how I say it. We set them up to get violations. Once we get the violations, um, we stack enough of violations and we hand your whole file over like to a lawyer. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna bring them on here soon. We hand his the whole file to his team. His team take care of, and he goes after them. But his overall goal is, of course, to get, of course, to get paid, sue them, get you some money, and everybody's a win win. And you don't owe the debt no more. So instead of you know stuff like once you remove it, it gets sold again to come back on your credit report. So the overall job is to remove the debt, and you don't owe the money, and get you know, hopefully mm -hmm. some compensation. Get compensation for violations. Facts. That's All right. Hard. Oh, huh. how is AI going to help or not help the application decision? You guys, you guys thoughts? Oh, yeah, um, man. A AI was already here. My bad. Go oh, ahead. Yeah, AI, oh, AI is already, you know, for, for applying for stuff, you know, that's already there. But I always tell people go inside the bank. If you want something, just go inside the bank, figure out what you want. Oh yeah, um, AI AI was here a while ago. Um, uh, just so y'all can understand what AI is, uh, y'all know the predictive text on your phone. That's AI. That's basically an algorithm trying to pick what you're gonna say next based upon what you already been texting or sending anyway. So mm -hmm. AI has always been here, and that's how you get those auto denials all the time. That's how you get those pre approvals um, before somebody even send it. They just Hey man, this is what the credit file looked like. Bunch of X's, X's and O's, ones and zeros. If they don't like it, they don't like it. But yeah, me and Dave, we don't apply a lot online because when we when we were applying to mass amassing credit, um, the military uniform went a long way for us, so we just kept kept using it, you know. So if somebody loves the service, we'll go into a credit union where the person behind the counter actually has some power. And then even if the person behind the counter didn't have problem uh, power, we asked for the manager. Hey, look, I'm new to the area, trying to establish credit. Uh, what y'all got for me? They pulled a credit score. If you got something on there, they might be able to work with you because of uh, their salute to service. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of people don't got that. Uh, yeah, but also you don't realize that these banks, these credit unions, they have, uh, let's just say, for Florida, they have like a credit score, like a, a minimum of like a 680 or 670, because that's the average in this thing. And if you above that average or around, around there, they'll approve you. Like, so you don't got to have a perfect credit score, but if you're around that average of that specific state, they can approve you. That's oh, what yeah. you learn when you go talk to the, the credit union. Like, oh, yeah, you're above a 80 in Alabama. You know, most people don't have a six. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was in Alabama when they was talking about that. Like, oh man, matter of fact, I challenge everybody. I challenge everybody to go into a credit union and ask them what their lending criteria is for credit card applications. Just right. just so y'all can know. Because you might actually be overqualified and not even know it. Mm-hmm. You just gotta go in there and talk. Yes, sir. All right, one more. Got any more questions? How to get evictions off your credit report, Mr. Luther. I know. I feel like I'm saying, you know, saying the same thing. Yeah, you're going to say the same thing every time. Or the identity IQ, get your credit report, and send off a letter. A, a, a re-investigation letter. Let me be more. Oh, Dave, you got the 2.0, 2.5 letter? We're going to be linking yeah. that? Can you drop it in the comments? Do I have it? Yeah, because uh, uh, I, I, I don't know. We about yeah, to I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll give you all the 2.5 letter. It's really... uh. Same thing, but uh, for, well, a way for you to get it notarized as well. Because sometimes I've been hearing a lot that the credit bureau has been saying y'all sound like a credit repair company. So they're like, man, y'all sound like Mike and Dave. I don't watch those videos already. And then send it back. But yeah. Um, that's, that's what you want to do first. And then from there, 
after you do that first, come back next week and let me, uh, well, probably going to take you a while, but after that, go to a credit union and then like 30 days from now, let us know what happens next and we'll guide you next. Just make sure you get the book. I have the credit reporting resource guide. Will it help with anything? I don't know what that is. Let me uh, uh, put yeah. that back up, Mike. I'm on bear. Trying to copy it. Credit reporting resource guide. I don't know what that is, but okay. You got another question? Um. Oh, this is one. We have more coming up. I just got to go through the comments. Is that Metro 2? That's what it looks like. Or I loaded my original contract to it. So the credit reporting source guide, um, it says something about Metro 2. So for Metro 2, I think this would it, yeah, this is Metro 2. Um, how do you feel about Metro 2 before I make my... Um, oh, your statement? I think it's an extra resource. Uh, I think Metro 2 is actually like whipped cream, but it ain't... You can't use it by itself. Um... From what I know, um, from looking at court cases or whatever, Metro 2 is a way that the credit bureaus relate information to the original creditor in the debt collector. So, for example, if you were to miss a payment on your credit card, um, somebody electronically will press 001 and then send that over to the credit bureaus because mm -hmm. what they're not going to do is send your complete uh, profile and all of your history over to the credit bureau so they can keep it. And then, like... The spelling of your name, your address, everything got specific code. So if you actually order your credit report, your, your real credit report, everything's going to have like a number on it, like a serial code. And they use those numbers to um, send electronically to to, to pre-fill in places and stuff like that. So, for example, if your name is misspelled wrong, you would send a Metro 2 code in and say, "My this is my name or whatever. But other than that, I don't think it'll help you too much. Um, but if you want to use it, hold on, that was the last question, right? But yeah, if you if you want to use it, just uh, you know, just look at the codes and use it appropriately. Um, but I don't, I wouldn't get too deep into it because I don't think it'll help you um, by itself. You have to send in a dispute letter along with the Metro Two codes. If you use Dispute Panda, you can see it clearly, clear as day, how they use the Metro Two codes. Because uh, I think the Speed Panda will actually put the codes in inside the letter for you. So we got. Uh, what was your name again? I'm sorry. Monica. Oh, oh yeah, Monica from Minnesota. Twin City, yes, Cold City. Woo. Yes, sir. How can we help you? How can we assist you? Um, I am calling because I've been going through the credit journey. I. Um, filed bankruptcy, and I shouldn't have filed bankruptcy. It's misinformed. None of this stuff really got. I didn't have a lot of stuff. I was mm -hmm. under the impression you're gonna give her the student loan. That's pretty much all I had. I had a, a voluntary repo mm -hmm. on the account, and at this point, I am just trying That's to good. get over the threshold to get to the seven hundred. I was in six eighty. Um, six nineties, but now it dropped because I paid off my a couple cars mm -hmm. um, on my credit profile, and I only have four negative accounts associated to the bankruptcy. And so mm -hmm. I went through a, a credit counseling, credit repair company, and I was with them for six months. They didn't even do any. They didn't even have personal information, so I just with them. Okay. Um, Hold I, on. I, I did. They did. Um, what I did find out after I canceled the service with them, they did file with the CS, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, they filed with them. They sent a letter and stated they were giving the credit bureaus 60 days, even though I just got out of a dispute with them. So okay. I have a letter that they verified everything. They said they wasn't changing it. And they gave them 60 days. Mm -hmm. This is after the 60 days. We're probably two weeks after the 60 days. And 
I'm wondering what should I do now that I let them go. I signed up for the Panda. Okay. I just uploaded my documents and that's where I'm at at this point. Hey, Dave, hold on, hold on, man. Let me let me defend let me defend the credit repair company real quick, man. Cause I don't think she can hear you. Oh, okay. Now I'm, I'm gonna defend them online. She can hear this later. Now the credit repair company could have been doing their job because you didn't get results. Ain't ain't a result of them not doing their job. Because what you're gonna find out real fast is once you use Panda or any type of service, whatever, mm -hmm. it's gonna take a while. Now if they had to respond back to number one. Saying that I'm not a credit repair company. If anybody's here, I can't hear nothing. Oh, oh, oh my. Now, oh, yeah, Mike, no. Mike, Mike no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 no. You, you I think uh, um, he's explained it to the crowd, but we'll get back to he could talk. I'll so talk about that. Or okay. the bankruptcy. Let's start with the bankruptcy first. The four okay. negative okay. accounts you said was not was supposed to be inside the bankruptcy and it's still reporting negative. Yes. It's Yes. No, were, were those the student? Were those the student loans, or were those like different accounts? Uh, student loan is off my report okay. at this point in time. I managed to get that off myself. The thing yeah. that's reporting is um, the bankruptcy. I had a Wells Fargo. And all those accounts were supposed to be um, inside the bankruptcy, correct? Correct. Oh. You need to hit up Mike. I oh mean, no, Mike. no, 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 no. She, she, she. Okay. So the accounts are on there, and it in the comment oh, section man. it says they are inside of the bankruptcy. So, so all right. So are the accounts still reporting a balance? Um, I uh, I my bad. She, she, she got. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you, yeah, you have to check if it's still reporting a balance because if it's still reporting a balance, then she got a violation. You got some violations. Yeah. Um, but. You got the student loans off your credit report. Do the same process. You're going to typically do the same process to get the the Wells Fargo and all the the bankruptcy and everything else. But for a bankruptcy, um, you want to go to wherever you file that bankruptcy with. You want to get that bankruptcy letter first. To to the I got all that. You got I, all that. And, I got, and, okay. I got all of that. Mm -hmm. We filed with them. They gave them sixty days. They ain't even respond back. That's that's what on. the letter said. We two weeks after the sixty days. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you got you got a letter from the bankruptcy court already? Yeah, I did got that. Like, okay, and, 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 and then for the verbiage wise to say that they don't report to the, oh, the credit bill. Put it on your credit report. Yeah. yeah. So and what I have you done? Huh? You sent that in with the dispute, or the the credit repair company sent that in? No. So when this happened, like I'm like almost three years discharge from the bankruptcy mm -hmm. right so initially when it got on the the account maybe the first year within the first year of it on the account i went through the process myself and i was trying to get it off the account by watching youtube videos mm -hmm. someone said hey go do the process so i managed to get all of the stuff and i sent it into them and they didn't remove nothing and so, oh yeah, just, yeah, that's gonna be a part of the process. I got a bunch of stuff off, and I was like, forget it at this point. My score shot up. I put positive stuff on it on my account. I have like ten positive accounts. Um, it's just that I can't get over the hump because of that, and I closed. I paid off um, two vehicles, two BMW. So. I just can't get over the hump, and I'm trying oh. to get. Oh yeah, I'm confused it's, about it's, 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 it's the bankruptcy and those other negative accounts. So you got to restart back. I know you canceled the program with the other credit repair company, but now you have to start the whole process over again and dispute to get that bankruptcy off and those other four negative accounts off your credit report. And then from there, Is that's there what you're working with. I mean, that's what you. you no, know, because once that come off, you're gonna see your credit score shoot up. Yeah, sure. to where you want it to be. Okay, do you think that I should at this point upload that information back to the the CF? So the CFPB said they need sixty days. So give them their sixty days. They already got. That's what I'm telling you. The oh. sixty days has passed. All right, and what did it? They, and they what? And what? They still haven't reached out. They still haven't reached out. They had. We're we're um two weeks past the sixty day mark. There are fourteen days. So the so you're inside the CFPB and they they haven't responded back to you. 
They closed the case out? No, they haven't. I'm saying um, the credit bureau, they told, they sent me a letter that basically said uh, they give, they opened up the dispute and give them 60 days to reply Mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And they had, it's, we're past the 60 days. So my question is, now that I got rid of the other place, at this point, should I just resume with going back to them, attaching the um, the letter they sent me that they give them 60 days and um, tell them that they're in violation? They haven't sent me nothing since. Yeah, hell I, yeah. The same... Um, the, the bankruptcy... Man, hey, Dave, she right there, bro. Yeah. She just upset. No, this just happened. They... Yeah, yeah, so yes, yes, you should respond back, yes. Okay. Hey, tell them just that. Hey, bro, y'all, over the 60 days. No, not, not, not. Just go to them directly. Go, go to them directly, yeah. Okay. Bro, I go through TFPB. I go through every place. I go through the BBB. Yeah, TFPB, I'll follow BBB. I'll follow Attorney General. Attorney General. I'll follow complaints at all, everywhere. Bro, she been violated. Hey. I know why she mad. My I'm bad. Never, right. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Hey, I'll Miss be Minnesota. Okay. <laughs> thank you, T.I. Right. All right. Man. Okay, I see why she mad. Cause I was like, cause I was confused. I was like, dang, bro, she she angry. She got the re- she got a bunch of results. Number one. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, she kind of angry, but I see why because like they playing in her face. <laughs> like, so I think uh, for her situation. She went well over the 60 days. I, I would involve the CFPB because they are direct middlemen and they can uh, oh, that's my face over there. So they're direct middlemen and um, they can see what's going on with the situation. That was weird. That oh, was... my face on there? Oh yeah, yeah I, I tagged this whole thing up. <clears throat> so every, every time everybody camera go off, let me see if my camera go off. Oh, but yeah, um, yeah, so Dave gonna let me go. Um, I think what people need to understand or everybody here needs to understand, um, and we had to figure this out, is it's the number one reason why we shut down our credit repair business because people have un- unrealistic expectations when it comes to results. As a credit repair company, number one, you got to send out that letter. But then when the letter come back and it says you sound like a credit repair company, then you have to send another letter. So bless you. Bless you again. But by that time, you're 60 days in in the process, and you've probably been paying somebody two to probably three day, three months um, payments, and you ain't going to get no results right then. And then when they send that next letter in, if you get some results with that next letter, it's 90 days before they even consider actually disputing the account for real, for real. Mm-hmm. So that's, you know, that's... <sighs> You know, it sucks to hire somebody to do a job and then the credit bureaus just be dragging their feet. And then most people pass, most people say, hey man, the credit repair company trash. And I'd be like, they may be trash. It, it, it was the people y'all hired. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm <be> like, <clears throat> and I, and you know, I just want to show love to, to say for that. <laughs> Can't said no, no, we're probably trained. Nah, cause nah, he, he talking about my people. Nah, cause I mean the only the only way through it is to keep disputing. Um, we talked to plenty of credit repair companies, uh, six, seven, even eight figure credit repair companies. Um, they just set the standard that way. They're like, hey man, you you know what I do on the sales calls now, Dave? I say, um, what is your expectation? How long you think this will take? And if anybody said it takes less than sixty days to get the result. I just like, hey, bro, you ain't a good fit for us. And I just keep it like that. Like, hey, man, you, hey, I ain't nothing I can do for you, boss. Hey, you know, uh, it's a dude on YouTube named Dave Cousins, man. He got the sauce. He'll tell you exactly how to do it. And he got a book. But, yeah, man, this thing this thing is a, it's like a heavyweight fight. How long can you keep disputing the same account with the credit bureaus? Uh, we we had a young lady in our program for like eleven months for uh, one late payment. Yeah, we had to. That thing was tough, but luckily the credit bills were responding back to us, and I think that's that's part of the problem. Like Rosemary, I think she's still waiting on a, a response from the credit bureaus. So that that's stuff that like nobody can control. So if the credit bureau is actively engaging back and forth with us, bro, we can get the results. But when it's when they stop. 
uh, responding back. Like you literally got to get a whole lawyer. Oh, Dave, I'm I'm ready whenever you're ready. But um, and uh -huh. while I was I was to the point of death, she asked me, and she wanted to file bankruptcy. I I kept going, mm -hmm. but I think that she had to file because they were going to illegally take our vehicle, and she didn't know what to do. Okay. I, um, can we? Sir. Can we? Or I do have your number. Before you file, before you do anything, before you go through the process, um, I would like to get on the phone with you and your wife before we do anything, because most importantly, I know bankruptcy is bankruptcy. So um, get on the phone. If you owe some money. I know you just said some stuff happened. So I would like to, I got your number. Get on the phone with you and your wife and let's talk before you do anything. Thank you. Yes, oh, yeah. we, we could ask him, is he free tomorrow? Tomorrow. Are you free tomorrow? Thank you for Or is it yes, you and your wife? Okay. okay. All right. I got your number. I'll give you a call tomorrow. Um, or I have my team set up appointment so we can see what time works best for you. All right. All right, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh man, I was like, I, I don't know if you want to take that call live, Dave. Yeah, yeah, that's why I was like, whoa, because oh, you know, okay. a lot of stuff. So you know, a lot of people got going on. So, oh yeah, man, the stories we hear, man, when we fix the people credit, bro, that's gonna be crazy. Um, mm -hmm. you know, actually, a lot of illegal stuff be happening to people credit wise, and yeah. you know, the, the lack of information. And I think most importantly, people just want to make sure they're doing the process right. So I've been, you know, doing some consultation calls and making sure because, you know, they just want to make sure, like, am I doing this right? Am I, yeah. am I sending the letter out or if I'm going, doing a proper step? So I think that's what it is. Yeah, it's that thing we learned from our, our mentors, man. Uh, once you lend people confidence, people, most importantly, people are doing the right things. They just need a little bit of confidence. Because they're not the expert, you know what I'm saying? So, yep. you know what I'm saying? I can change my fire. Rosemary, you're going to be dispute until dispute until it come off. That's how long you dispute. So there's no, like, I can't say you're going to get it off tomorrow. I can't say you're going to get off next month. Dispute until you knock the credit bills out. That's how long you're going to dispute. So it might take 18 months. Mm. But. The 18 months is still going past whether you do it or not. So that's why you're going to continue doing it. And eventually it's going to come off. And eventually you're going to have some real good accounts on your credit report once everything come off. Oh, no. Nah, I'm going to go to another YouTube channel, bro. I need somebody to tell me 30 days. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, you go there, they're going to sell you hope with no instruction. So you got to continue disputing. I know it sounds like a, but that's the, that's what we playing with the credit bills. Uh, Brandy, Brandy Wine. Um, what's up? She said, uh, she need help. She's disabled and really need help. Uh, Dave, can we get on the call or something? Yeah. Um, Miss <laughs> Brandy, you hit me up on Instagram or text. Oh, hold on. I gotta put the Instagram up there. One second. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Now she 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 gonna have to hit you up on Instagram because our text message be full, full of bullshit. Okay. I think we'll. Yeah. So for a dispute, it's just gonna take as long as you willing not to give up. That's how long it's gonna take. Uh, Brandon Wine. I'm just, and that's just for like if you hire for if you hire a credit repair company, it's the same thing. There's no in the Crow Act because I be reading the laws too. They can't promise the results. They can't promise a timeline. It's the same thing. Whether you do it yourself or you hire somebody, there's no timeline to fix your credit. So that's why it's going to take you 18 to 24 months to get things removed. It might happen. If it happens quicker than that, then you're good. 
But hey, hey Dave, I seen some ads on Facebook. They said after mm -hmm. 120 days, you don't owe the debt no more. After 120 days, you that's an ad I seen on Facebook when you said nobody can't promise time. I'm just I was just trying. <laughs> I was just messing with you. That boy, and that boy was on stage too in front of millions of well, hundreds of people. And I'm like, you said what? Uh oh, you mute. I don't know what happened. Oh, my bad. I think I had hit the shift button. Boy, how about that? So 120 days, you don't owe money. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's you get in front of a judge and say that. It was <laughs> there. Bro, I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna take all your. Nah, nah. Just the, did everything. The only, the only reason I say that is because I, I know the guy who ran that ad. Yeah. Who said that like, he was bragging about it. I was like, bro, Mike is being silly now. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah whether you do it yourself or you hire a credit repair company, it, it could take eighteen to twenty four months. Now, do you want to pay ninety nine dollars to somebody else, or you want to save that ninety nine dollars and, and invest it into Charles Schwab? And I'm pretty sure you'll get a return on your investment. And you can do the work as well. Hey man, hold on in the chat real quick. What's the most y'all ever paid for credit repair? I'm trying to see some. I see, I see, I I know a guy who paid uh five thousand dollars up front for credit repair. I just want to see if somebody in the crowd can beat that. Yeah. So I just want to let y'all know it's gonna take about 24 months. I know I say 14 day hack. I know I say I'm saying 14 day hack to get some accounts removed, not clean your whole credit report. <laughs> <laughs> hey Rose, Rosemary, I know, I know you can get dollars. get the results for free. Yes, sir. All right. So think on. about it. You you know you use the the videos oh, to get some stuff removed from your credit report. Hey, that's a win. Oh, that's free money in my pocket. If I can go on the YouTube channel and and follow the steps, I think that's a win win for everybody. I think that's probably why people really rock with us. I spoke with. Oh yeah, he said that already. I don't want to report came in the mail. I just want to pay I think I get a one dollar. Mm -hmm. Joseph D. Um one second. Got any more questions? Let me look in the star. Oh no, I just I, I just been starring crazy stuff. Oh they refuse to respond to me after the process. What you mean, Ms. Bree? They refuse to respond to me after that process. Hey, Joseph. Uh, I can't. I didn't want to ask you no personal me. information. Joseph. I uploaded the original contract to Experian Portal with the inaccuracies, and they still. So, Miss Kiara, the original contract to Experian Portal. Hey, don't, don't dispute with the area. Don't, because that's like negating your rights. So you want to dispute? Um, oh, I thought I put that one up already. With the inaccuracies, the hold on, I dispute. I uploaded my original contract to Experian Portal with the inaccuracies, and they still validated the account. You don't want to dispute through the actual Experian Portal. You want to dispute through mail because what happens is they're gonna um. They're gonna say everything is verified nine times out of ten. So dispute through mail. Because what what happens is if you dispute through the portal, through Experian portal, you negate your investigation process. Hope that makes sense. So dispute through the um send a letter through the through the mail, let it get there, let them do their process, and then from there, then you wanna go about that. All right, so let me see. Next question. Oh yeah, go go get the uh, secret letter two point oh. Dave still ain't put it in there in the chat. Just chill. You got any more questions? I'm I'm reaching out about uh, D Joseph uh, to the team. PNC Bank pull from experience. Yes. Simply, I use they. Somebody said they use five hundred dollars. Me and my wife only got three or four collections, and that's it. Oh, that's that was, D. Joseph. That was D. Joseph. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
I think I got a message by him. Yeah, so I have a a new playbook that I'm releasing on Black Friday. It's gonna cost a dollar. Mm -hmm. Dollar for trial. <laughs> Well, oh, it's a whole 700 plus blueprint. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know. I'm trying to look for um, some more questions. Ooh. What's up? What's up? What's up? Can y'all put the link for the book? Hey, Mike, you need to drop the link for the book. Oh, my bad. I, I dropped the link earlier. Oh, no, that's the old question, right? The link for the book? Is that an old question? Mm-hmm. I'll drop it again. Hey, okay. thank y'all for y'all support too, man. Uh, I think we hit bestseller. Um, it's Dang, gone now. We did hit bestseller. I mean, it's gone now, so I don't know oh, yeah. where. You know, after you stop, you know, promoting, uh, you only become bestseller for a while. Well, you can stay if you continue selling books. Oh no, nah, man! I heard that Britney Spears book cold though. Hey, who who all heard about that Britney Spears book? I ain't about to read it. Bro, that that I heard that thing crazy, man. These child actors, bro. Yeah, they said uh, Justin Timberlake, man, uh, off the grid for a little bit for what she said about him in the book. Ooh. Hey, I ain't <laughs> just in a minute, so yeah, that boy, that boy, like, hey, hey, uh, what it was in the Mickey Mouse Club together or something? I don't know. Uh, let me see. I'll be on Disney Channel. Was it? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. There was like a uh, there was like a little band or something. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get a referral link and then drop the book. Okay. No, I was joking. I'm so joking. Um, I haven't paid anything so far. Okay. Congratulations. Uh oh. You just got branded. Uh, what what that person name is? Hey, uh, you got a you got a YouTube channel or Instagram? Uh, Trinice. Tr Trinice. What's the name, Dave? I'm sorry, I can't read. Pull up the question. The, the one I think on she was talking about um the one on the screen. You see the I think she was talking about when you ask how much you pay for credit repair companies. Yeah, but look at the logo. Look what it say. Got branded. Yeah, that's cold, right? You just got brand. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why does Credit Dino say the scores are advantage instead of FICO? Oh man, cuz it, it oh, costs a great credit. Oh, go ahead. Uh, it, it costs a lot of money to get the FICO score. So if you want to pay like $50 for credit monitoring, I think you can. But I, not to dispute, I won't. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, so to get a FICO score is different. Yeah, to get a FICO score, you got to pay some money. That's why the credit bureau is mad right now. They can't, they can't even offer their own scores. They can't even offer FICO scores. They get charged a grip too. Uh, I put the link to the book on here. Uh, Dave, how, how long we got? We're going to want to take one more call or we're about to wrap up? About to wrap up. All right, man. Uh, no um, more questions. Like we asked everybody questions. Feeling good. Black Friday. What did you say you were about to do? Hey, man, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I think you Black can, you Friday, we're going to release the 700 plus blueprint because I know people need instruction, instructional videos, a success path, step by step gonna be sold for a free trial for a dollar and then it's gonna cost $97 a month after that 30 days is this and book inside there more. yes that book's gonna be in there as well hey man that's all it's like gonna have the dispute playbook it's gonna have um some other stuff that we created and much more oh yeah man hey man I love talking to y'all man I love for y'all to uh, sit on here for like an hour and a half and we joke around but most importantly Man, I hope everybody has a better credit score from the result of the information that's been put out. And um, I hope it spark a conversation in your friend groups, your relationships, uh, your family. And I hope, um, I think, what you said, a, a billion people, Dave, or a trillion people? What was, the, what was the goal? I'm trying to see. Up one billion. One billion. Yeah, the goal. You put it in the book too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the goal, the goal is to help a billion people, man. And the only way we could do that is by... Dominating the airways. I can hit you up for help. What's the ground? Oh, Brandy Wine. Before we get off here, uh, um, right here on the bottom it says Dave talks credit. 
Yeah, we we definitely that's, need that's to get on. That's the Instagram handle. Uh, the the credit repair cheat codes book. It's a uh, it's a uh, eleven dollars on Amazon. I believe the Kindle version is on there too. If you got a Kindle, I think you get a little bit cheaper. Uh, we're gonna try to figure out how to get it to you guys for free, uh, especially. <laughs> oh, I followed them. Uh, scorable. That's amazing. Hold on. <laughs> Hey, Northside, can you, can you elaborate? Hold on, I, I can't get off the call yet, Dave. Northside, got to elaborate on that. You followed the blueprint, and, and your score says unscorable. That's either a really good thing or a really bad thing. He said, uh, can you, I get my book signed? Dave was talking about that. Hit me up in the in the uh, on Dave Talks Credit. I I. I know I still owe Rosemary a book. I got a. Oh yeah, yeah, Rosemary. You you should have. Oh, oh yeah. that's why you ain't got the book. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, yeah, because I'm sending I'm sending all everybody they book. I owe a lot of people books. I've been signing them. And you know I'm busy. Hey Northside, can you call in? Hold on, I'm put the number up. He said he said you trying to figure it out. I I just want to make sure we asking the right questions. Can you, can you call this number right here, Northside, before we get off here? So my Instagram handle Dave Talks Credit. Dave Talks Credit. Do y'all offer credit repair service? No, uh, Dave. Dave trying to bring our credit repair service back, but I told him no. But he gonna do it anyway. Uh, enjoy you guys for. Hey, no, hey, man. I enjoy your guys for support. Hey, man, thank you, thank you, uh, Patricia. Hey, well, if I do offer the service, just know that a hey, gonna take twenty four months. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <My game>. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't gonna take 24 months. That's what I'm gonna tell everybody. I want the expectations to be clear. I, I ain't gonna drag my feet, but I'm gonna say it's gonna take 24 months. I think. Nah. Hey, uh, Northside, what's up? Hold on. I gotta, I gotta see what this be. This is so funny to me. All the poop and in my court. I'm pretty sure he he wiped everything off his credit report. Man, cause I yeah. Can you call in Northside? Hey Northside, at work. Nah, he troll. He trolling. He or she trolling. Nah, Got me. What happened is he wiped hey. everything off his credit report, or he or she wiped everything off his credit report. Now he needs to add some positive accounts. So you need to go to a credit union, go get a mm -hmm. secured loan. Mm -hmm. And then once he gets a secured loan, his score should populate again. And then apply for a credit card. Man. And then get a business credit card. And then go talk. Well, he should be talking to Charles Schwab already and investing the money so it can grow. Hey, man, how he get the name Northside? I'm pretty sure it's a bunch of people for... Oh, see, so he said at work, Dave. My bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> at work, boss man. All right, all right. Yeah, so just get those credit builders, man. You'll be all right if it's unscorable. Yeah. They they just don't have enough data on you. Yeah, he might not. He, he probably. You got to do the ones that do no credit check as well. So just do that. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, all y'all have to do is go inside Charles Swab, and they're gonna show y'all something, and it's gonna show y'all how to build a. How to get a million dollars? Mm hmm. By the time you're 65, we're going to give you a game plan. Man. All right, man. I, I was hoping for a good call from uh, uh, Northside, man. I, I was hoping for him to be like, bro. How many accounts you got removed off your credit report, Northside? North he going. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's, let's figure that out before we get off of here. Hey, man. I really rock with y'all, man. For real. I really rock with y'all. Every man. Wednesday, I think we're going to push it up an hour early so we can be on here for about two hours. Yeah, we're we trying to be here to, to answer everybody's phone calls because everybody's in the process and everybody's doing the same thing, but people just at different spots. So the easiest way to do it is to just get on the phone with y'all, man, because we try this chat thing, man. That's always trash. Ask y'all questions in the chat. And then people responded back 20 minutes late. Man, so uh, we changed the date um, due to family 
family stuff going on. So we'll be coming to y'all on Wednesdays. Yeah, every Wednesday live. For two hours. Hey, and y'all can ask the same questions over and over because we got time. Mm -hmm. All right. You want to wait on North Side or are we going to close out? Oh, uh, I was waiting on North Side, but he don't have no questions. Hey, man, shout out to Identity IQ for sponsoring the video today. Um, shout out to the credit team and, and cheat codes. And uh, huh, just send a message. Shout out to everybody. I'm That'd sorry. I, 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 got, I got stuck up reading the comments. Mm hmm. That'd be great. I think Rosemary just copying and pasting the same questions. Should I keep disputing? The oh, yeah, bro. Like, keep, keep, like, get on your well, neck. Every 35 days, you want to continue disputing until that account come off. File a complaint with attorney, like, just continue, continue disputing. Oh, no. Hey, um, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. And also, I think next week we're going to be talking about on how. I could teach you how to fix your credit, but most importantly, I could talk about how to leverage this information to um, make a hundred thousand dollars in a year. A hundred thousand, like work. K. Like work. I was joking. Hey, uh, Joseph, uh, D. Joseph, uh, if you're still here, please text my team like uh, soon as possible. I just want to make sure. Let I'm me know if y'all want to learn that for next week. Like, teach y'all how to fix y'all credit, and then use the inf use what y'all did. So you can also help other people make a hundred thousand dollars in twelve months. Yes. No. Maybe so. I can teach you how to make a hundred K in any business, actually. Oh yeah, that's true. Hey, um Brandy Wine, I didn't get no message from you. Call in. I'm gonna tell you how to make some money. You gotta be willing to put in the work. Yeah, hey, hundred thousand. I can teach you. Hey, hey, Mike, where that plaque at? What plaque? You know what plaque I'm talking about? Million dollar plaque. Oh, you got yours? Where's yours? Are you yours hanging up? Mine's right there. Oh, I don't really. It's it's nice. Just, just sent the text, bro. All right, I'm I'm waiting for your text to come through, uh, uh, Joseph. Y'all just get through my question. What's your question? Oh, hold on. Hey, go back, uh, Kane G. All right, I'm about to go find that. I'm glad you said something, man. Like we don't, we try not to skip questions. I'm looking. Yeah, I'm looking too. Can you can you drop your question really quick? Can you drop your question again? Like, um, I don't see it. Here. I don't see it. Or did you text us a question? So you came with name. midget. <laughs> Hello, what? <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's really simple. All you got to do is get no my. I'm gonna talk about it. Oh my goodness. Unless I remove everything negative, now I have no history. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta yeah. build, man. That's the best place. So now to you be, gotta, man. yeah. So I usually gotta build. Um, if you're currently written, that will be one of the quickest way to add some history to your credit report. So you could do it um that way, and then of course, um, this what you talking about? Yeah, that's it. So that's one of the quickest way you can add history to your credit report, and then also add some go. Credit union, go to cheese, go to um all these other places out here that can um give you credit with no credit check. Um uh, Brandon Wine. Hey, hit me up on Instagram. No, nah, no, nah, you don't don't text the text message is gonna go to our team. Oh, but yeah. this is what oh, they've talked about. Yeah. Hit now. me up on Instagram. I'll respond back to my DMs on Instagram. So she, she said she she hit us up, but I don't see nothing in my messages. You got something, Dave? Sent it to Dave. Yeah, She's I can't respond working. back because I'm on a live right now, but I'll respond back when I get off. What you looking for, Christopher? And 
Christmas. Hey, hey, G, what you what, what was your question? Um, before we get off, I want to make sure that I'm helping you. What was that? I'm about to go look for it. I ain't see it. I'm gonna scroll back up. All right. Okay. Yeah, she said she got us. Deuces. I just typed it twice. In here? Or you typed it in? Hey, man, you, you'd have been better off typing the question again, for real, because now we can't. Now we having I a conversation. Be. Did you text it or did you type it on here? I can't see it. I think he texted the number. No, type it on here. Hold on. Somebody got another question, though. In the chat. I don't see it in the chat. Hey, go ahead. Answer that one, Dave. And then I'm going to uh, okay. I'm gonna look for his question. Cause, um, If I'm at it as an authorized user, will that increase my credit score? My friend has an 800 credit score, and he added me to his Amax Platinum and his Discover. I'm hoping that will boost me. All right, Justin. So if your friend, you know, that's what's up. But for the Amax Platinum, what's going to happen is you're not going to get the history because that's how Amax worked, the previous history. Um, but you're going to get the, I guess, the, the credit limit, hopefully. No, 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 no. Amax Platinum will have a limit. So you're going to get the trade line added to your credit report. No. Your credit. Ah, so both of those. Because the Platinum don't have the the history, well, they don't have the credit they limit, the credit and then you don't get the history. But for the Discover card, it's going to help improve it depending on when he opened it. So it's a 30K limit plus whatever history. He, that should take about eight days to get added. So, yes, the credit score, but what you know, you're going to get the trade line, but you're not going to get the history with the trade line for the AMAX card. Hey, man, just tell them those the worst two cards to be added to. Which one? Both AMAX. Of them. Oh. Because the, the AMAX don't got no limit. So, yeah. It's, it it's a zero. Part. It's a zero in the utilization category. Uh, and the Discover, you don't get the backdated history, so you might as well just get your own card. No, no, no. Discover, you get it. Amax, you don't. No, Discover don't. Hold on. They, they changed it? So Discover, added, they do backdated, is what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, but Amax don't add the backdated in, or the Platinum don't, since it's a charge card, don't got the... Oh, okay. Oh, my bad, my bad. I thought you were talking about, like, she's Discover don't change up there. No, actually, I think yes. Discover, no, Discover, Discover adds where, quickly too. They add quick. quick. Mm hmm. Like eight days. I can't, the, I can't days. find that guy, Kenny G. Yes, in the chat. I did. Bro, I, just, I think he texted. I don't know what his question is. I'm saying, like, I think he texted. No, nah, he said he put it in the chat twice, but I don't even, I don't see none of it. I mean, if he just put the question there right now, we can just answer it. What's up? There you go. My question is why are the barrels? All right. Good question. My question is why are the credit bills still report negative accounts that I asked them to supply proof for? Oh, because the reason why they still reporting the negative account is because you signed a contract with the you have a contract with the, the person, the the creditor. So they're going to still report it and the credit bureaus don't care because they're getting paid. Now, until you continue to dispute and leverage the laws, then eventually it's going to come off. That's why they're still reporting. Like, even though you, like, you could say the laws, you could tell them whatever, the credit bureaus don't care. And ain't nobody going to hold them accountable. So they begin in the way. Bro, you got kind of rough, I'm boy. Golly. What's up? You know what I'm saying? You being mean. Oh. Hold on. Oh, I, I, mean, I, I, I got I got something. Oh, boy, hold on. Who who it's all that, good. Uh, as long as you continue disputing and showing that you know they are violating your rights, eventually it's gonna come off. You know, there's still light at the end of the tunnel. I'm just telling you why it's still on your credit report. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got something I want to share to y'all. All this credit no. stuff is like playing Monopoly? Yep. Mm, yeah. I no, I think she means like it's a game. Yeah. But it's definitely a game, bro. All right. You can't convince me otherwise that we're playing a game. It's fun. Though. That's, that's the only thing. 
You you know it's crazy. I mean it's it's fun when you know the rules though. It's like it's like I got the yeah, rules for the y'all game. Like this, y'all. y'all know what the by y'all watching these videos, y'all should know like what to respond back to, like what to say to the credit bros and how to respond back to them. So I don't want you guys to get frustrated. I don't want to quit. All you got to do is just wait for the letter to come in and be like, all right, they say this, I'm gonna do this. If they don't do this, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna continue to go talking to credit unions and start adding some accounts. And yes, um, it's probably slowing you down from getting what you really want. Hey, but God's teaching y'all a lesson. I say it. Yes, sir. Uh, my boy, you that my quick. Boy, my boy, knife. I want you to play some air really quick. Northside said he needs some places. So, uh, can y'all see that? So you can go to Equifax, Northside. You go to DCU, PenFed, SCCU, AOD. And I think he says TransUnion. You can go to Regents Bank, Bay Federal, Alliant, Barclays, and U.S. Bank. If you got any questions, you can just rewind that back. Uh-oh. What'd I do? You stop showing? Oh, okay. All right, that's good. You can just rewind it back and get it. But all right, y'all. I'm about to be out of here, bro. I was we were supposed to be done 45 minutes ago. Thank y'all uh for joining us. And thanks for the likes and the comments. And, and thanks for uh sharing everything, man. For real. Uh it really means a lot to us. And I hope mm-hmm. everybody out here get this information. And last words, Dave. It's time to knock the credit bills out. I was about to stop. I couldn't do this. Michael's in the way. You got to beat, beat the mic up. All right, Northside. Yeah, just All watch right. the end of the video back. You'll see the banks that I put up there.